Hello everyone, back at it again with another retro Super Nintendo stream for you today. And uh, today, got another, um, this one is a, is a game that's a little more familiar to me than last time. Last time I did Link to the Past, and this time we're going to do uh, Disney's Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. This is the uh, Capcom game, and not the Sega Genesis game by Virgin Games. So let's just get right into it. Probably going to be a pretty chill stream. This game is not particularly long or difficult. I can't imagine it's going to be very long. I think this will probably be less than an hour. But I haven't played this game in years, so we'll see. And that's the intro. So, this is probably going to be a bit more of a chill stream for me. I don't know if I'll be doing a ton of commentary. Um, not much in the way of options. You got a sound test, you got sound stereo, manorial. The controls are pretty simple. And the game just kind of starts, if I recall. It just outside of that intro, it just kind of gets starts with Aladdin in the market. So, the controls in this are pretty simple. You got a button to dash. You got to jump. You got a button to throw apples, which stuns enemies. And you just jump on them. This isn't like the Sega game where you use a sword. You have to jump on enemies. You can swing on... Oops. You can swing on these here. And a big component of this game is like... Um... Collecting these uh, these gems, particularly red ones, like this one right here. And now that I got that blanket, I can also use the R button to hover. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> as the only thing with the blanket is that, as cool as this is, it also allows you to skip a ton of the level. In some instances. Uh, you'll notice if you jump on enemies, it has, like, a little bit of a animation delay. Like, if I jump on this, he kind of springs off it, right? Personally, this is the main reason why I prefer this version over the Sega Genesis game. I honestly think that, like, jumping on the enemies is a lot more satisfying than the sword in the Sega game. 
And while this game doesn't have, like, the Disney uh, animations, like the Sega game does, um, I still think this game looks quite good. Also, by collecting that Scarab, we got a bonus level. I should have mentioned that. If you miss the Scarab, you don't get a bonus level. Which is just one of these little roulettes with Genie. So let's see how we did. So we earned an extra continue. Also, another thing about this game is that you can, like, grapple a lot of ledges. You can grab a lot of stuff in this game, like ledges and, uh, poles and... I guess those, like... Well, we'll see in the cave levels, too. There's a lot of stuff you can grab and swing from. And you can, while you're swinging, uh, you can actually kick enemies, so that's cool. But as far as a platformer goes, it's pretty forgiving, because especially when you get this blanket so early on. Oh. And I just kind of ran right into that. It's kind of my fault. <laughs> That's a cute little detail. Speaking of cute details... The monkey following you around is pretty cute. What's his name like? Abu? Boom! There we go. That never gets old. I find this game to be very satisfying to play. Level's over. The levels are fairly brief in this game. Oh my god, I hate these archers. Oh, I could collect that. Having access to the blanket definitely makes things more forgiving. Which is, I mean, that's fair, because, I mean, this is a game based on a Disney movie. I'm not expecting it to be, like, exceptionally difficult. And I think a lot of the Capcom Disney games do a pretty good job of, you know, being fairly easy, but not like a total snooze. grab on these ledges here, but... Oh, shoot. I missed it. I got greedy. I got greedy. I hope I don't have to collect that again. I actually find the movement in this game in general to be pretty fun. Again, I'm, like, actually really fond of jumping off of enemies. It's just got that nice boing, that springiness to it. I'm really fond of that. You just don't get that with the sword in the Genesis game. I feel like it's kind of swishy and not really that satisfying in comparison to just jumping off of somebody's head. Okay, it looks like I don't have to collect that again. Uh, it's just a normal green gem now. Oh, jeez. I 
I do have a bit of a problem, though. It's like, I hold the Y button to dash all the time. <clears throat> and there's a bit of momentum when you stop, right? And also when you slide with the D-pad, Aladdin's got a bit of momentum to him. So that's my fault for holding the Y button down all the time. Oh, crap, I missed one. Oh, well. I just find the jumping on heads is just really satisfying in this game. Must have been jumping too early or something. Yeah, I missed some red gems. I think you get a bonus. I'm not sure what it is, though. I can't remember. Uh, the passwords are pretty easy to understand, especially for kids. Um, but this game is really short. You shouldn't really need passwords. So now we're just suddenly in the Cave of Wonders, I guess. So, uh, this game, like I said, it's pretty brief. It goes through the events of the movie pretty quickly. If you haven't seen the movie, I would... I mean, first of all, I would suggest watching the movie. It's my personal favorite Disney movie. Um, second of all... You'd be a little lost if you hadn't seen the movie. I think there's a secret up there using this bat. Yep, there's a red gem. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm not getting that scarab. It's gone. But I did get a one-up. There is a good amount of secrets in this game. Oh no! Oh crap. I can't really get too upset about dying just be and getting sent back to the beginning of the level just because the levels aren't very long and they're not super challenging or anything i just find them to be fun like i said already i think this game is just really 
It feels good to play. And it's pretty forgiving. There we go. Hey, it gave me a second chance to get that. And the one-up is back. Perfect. I don't think I'm getting that red gem. Ah, oh, shoot. But I can get this. Yes, I know how to press a button. Thank you, video game. I think that gave me an additional heart and a life. One-ups are pretty easy to procure in this game, I think. But, I mean, it, it is a kid's game. It's understandable. Now you've done it. Ah yes, everyone's favorite, auto-scrolling levels. Oh my god, I got greedy and it's not paying off. Thank you. 
But this auto scroller is pretty slow. Oh dear, we got some slowdown. Forget it. I'm not getting that either. Oh, shoot, I slipped off. Should probably stop holding the Y button. Oh no, oh no, I made it right to the end and I beefed it. Oh man. Ugh, oh, I really gotta stop going for those red gems. It's not doing me any favors. Getting a hundred of uh, the gems gives you an extra heart. That's cool. Very nice. Oh, here we go. The obligatory magic carpet ride. have a feeling a lot of this is gonna be old muscle memory from like the 90s coming back to haunt me <laughs> oh god I don't remember Oh, that was easy. Okay. He's getting worried over nothing. Yeah, you really need to see the movie. This game just doesn't cut the mustard in explaining it. Aladdin doesn't even have sleeves. He invites Aladdin into the lamp. So this is original for the game. We got Genie World. And, uh, the music might get me in trouble. <laughs> I don't know if it'll get me in trouble on Twitch or YouTube or whatever, but <laughs> hopefully I don't run into copyright problems because of this song. 
Oh, forget the red gems. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, crap. Kind of got turned the other way around there. That's pretty trivial since I have the blanket from like the first level of the game. Might be a little too good, admittedly. I mean, it, it's it's okay for this game to be generous because again, it's for kids. But like, that blanket is really good. <laughs> Nope, not going for that one. Forget it. Oh, it wasn't so bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically going inside the lamp was completely pointless and basically just padding for this otherwise very short video game. But that's fine because it's pretty fun. And if I recall correctly, this too is also new for this game. This also doesn't happen in the movie. 
I always liked how this level looked, though. Oh, I just noticed your health does not refill between levels. Interesting. I mean, that would be pretty bad if this game wasn't, you know, a kid's game. <laughs> like, it's not that hard, so it's okay. In a more challenging game, that would be a big problem. Oh, okay. I'll take it, I'll take it. This monkey's being a bit of a pain in the neck. He's constantly running away. He's being a, he's being a little turd. I thought I was gonna get the genie again. That would have been great. Oh well, none of these rewards are bad. They're all good. But yeah, I guess it's like, the movie just didn't give them enough to work with. So they had to come up with a bunch of stuff on their own to like make the game just a little bit longer because this game is already very brief. I think the Sega Genesis game also came up with some original scenarios as well. But I think it's really blatant in this one. Again, it, it's not bad, because I think these levels are quite fun. But it's like... I guess it's still padding? It's just, like, necessary padding, because the movie, I guess, just doesn't give a lot to work with in terms of a video game, I guess. Maybe Aladdin was not the best choice for an adaptation of a of a video game, but I don't know. They still made a, a few uh, fun games out of it. I mean, there's this one. There's obviously the Sega Genesis one. I like the one on the Game Gear as well. That one's pretty good. Oh gee, I wonder who this could be. You little stinker. Oh, I really liked this game as a kid. I mean, I, again, I like the Genesis and the Super Nintendo one, but I just personally prefer this one. Uh-oh, I hope I don't get in trouble for this part either. <laughs> So this is basically just a bonus section. 
All you do is collect gems. And again, I hope I don't get into any, like, copyright issues with this either. Ah, oh, missed one. Yeah, this is the bonus stage. And yeah, I missed one gem. Gilbert Gottfried steals the lamp! Man, I would have liked a level in the ends of the earth. That would have been cool. Oh god, I think we're at the end of the game already. Yeah, I... I think this might actually be, like, the tail end of the game now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh my god, get off of me! I'm taking a ton of hits. Oh, come on! Taking a ton of hits. Get out of here. Please be a turkey. Ah, it's a scarab. Damn it. Thank you. 
Really? Okay. Well, that's a really brief level, damn. Take it because I lost the one up earlier. I think that's the last break time we're gonna get, though. So I'm pretty sure this is like the end of the game. Already. <laughs> Ah, oh, that never gets old. Oh, forget the red gems. We're in way too deep for that now. Apples, really? I've barely thrown any apples this whole game. Oh, that chicken's gonna be roast chicken now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yeah, I think this is it. Like, Jafar has two forms in this game. You fight him here, and then you fight him again later. Oops. to get a little tricky. It did not work out for me. Yeah, there we go. He swoops down low enough that you don't even really need to jump on the staff or anything. Oh, come on now. jumped on him there. Yes, my priorities have definitely shifted. And yes, final battle already. And we have to deal with the Snek Jafar, who spits out eggs, which is so gross. Who does he think he is? Storm Eagle? And copious amounts of slowdown, too. on his head here. Oh, 
I think that's it. Very, very easy. Very easy. Uh, being a genie means he has to be a slave to a master and a slave to the lamp. He didn't think that one through. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the game. That's Aladdin on Super Nintendo. I actually realize now the reason that they have Genie World... Probably because there wouldn't be enough Genie otherwise. This game is so short, it cuts right to the point. Uh, they had to come up with a couple of extra levels just to make it last a little bit longer, and it's already less than an hour long. Very, very short game. Not very hard. But you know, kind of a chill, relaxing game to play on a Sunday afternoon. I still really like this one. I think, like I said, I think this one plays better than the Genesis one, but both games are great. Just this one is just so short and so easy. But, like, if you got... I guess this game would be really good if you got, like, a kid or something. Like, a little, little kid. And you wanted to introduce them to something old. Or just something that's easy to get into. Like, you know, 
you got a little kid and they're interested in platformers like Mario and stuff, this might be a good next step because it's not too hard. Special thanks, Capcom, all staff, and you. Love it when games do that. Ah, those damn red gems. That's Capcom's Aladdin on Super Nintendo. Doesn't look like I can skip this or anything, so it probably just requires a console restart or whatever. But yeah, that's the game. Super short, super breezy, easy breezy. But still a really fun game. I still really like this one. So thank you for coming out to the stream if you did. Thanks for watching the VOD if you did. Until next time, take care.